This is an instructional video on how to use Razor Renew to sharpen and smooth your razor blade. Now there's two different types of Razor Renew. There's Razor Renew Short and Razor Renew Long. Now you'll notice that both of these are hanging. This is a very important concept. It's important that you hang your strop and hold it by the handle. Now we have a trigger snap and an 8 inch piece of Velcro. Between the two you shouldn't have any problem finding a place to hang your Razor Renew. So it's very important to hang it because you get the flexibility in the body to firmly press down the blades far enough into the leather to where it evenly sharpens them. And also holding by the handle makes it to where it's very safe because it keeps the sharp blades away from cutting your skin. This is made out of premium cow leather and you want to make sure that you keep this clean and dry. Any kind of wetness on the strop will reduce the effectiveness of this. And you also want to keep your blade clean and dry. So every time after you shave, you just want to tap it out under the hot water and get the big chunks of hair or any debris out of it. Because any debris, um, where there's any debris in the blade, you're taking a chance on that part not getting smooth and sharp, sharp and smooth. Razor Renew has two sides. We have the suede side, which sharpens and hones your blade. And then we have the smooth side, which smooths out the burrs. And you need to do both because we need to get really sharp, but we need to take the burrs off also. So let's show you how to sharpen and smooth your blade using Razor Renew. We start off on the suede side. You want to push down firmly. And you want to push down firm enough to where all the blades get deep enough into the leather. Especially on a, on a razor like this that has five blades. You don't want to be shy, so we want to get all the blades evenly sharpened. So we start out here, one, two, three, four up, and then you turn it, start from the top and go to the bottom, one, two, three, four. That just keeps the wear even. Same amount up is down. So four up and four down, that is maximum on the suede side to sharpen and hone. Now sharpening and honing, what you're doing is you're rolling the metal back into place. Now if you do it more than four times up, four times down, what you're going to do is roll the metal too far over and it will actually dull it. So four times up, four times down, now we have this really sharp, but it still has the burrs on the end of the blade. So that's when we turn it over to the smooth side. This side is really smooth and it has to be really smooth to smooth the burrs off. So on this side we want to do at least twice as much up and down, at least. You could do more if you want, it won't dull your blade. So we push down firmly, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we turn it, we start from the top, just to keep the wear even, eight down now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now your blade is sharp and smooth using Razor Renew Short. Now we're going to move to the long strop and show you how to sharpen and smooth your blade on this one. So everything's pretty much the same, except since the body is so much longer, you just want to cut everything in half. So we want to start off on the suede side for sharpening and honing. We start off on the bottom and we go one, two up, and then we switch it to keep the wear even to make sure you press firmly. One, two down, and now it's sharp. Now we got to get the burrs off the end. So we flip it over to the smooth side, and this is twice as much, at least twice as much. You could do more if you want. Remember, so press firmly. One, two, three, four, and turn it to keep the wear even. One, two, three, four. Now your blade is sharp and smooth.